Me? <laughs> okay. So my game is, the working title is called um, Dungeon Crawler. That is not going to be the final title. I couldn't come up with anything else. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let me move that down there. Okay. So its hook is kind of combining combat gameplay of a dungeon crawler with procedural generation. So it's a 2D top down world. Um, you can kind of see in the picture over here. No, it's a little fuzzy on here. Um, so wait. All right. Let me just. And that's better. Okay, so um, it's a 2D top down world that is procedurally generated with different biomes and blocks you can break, and there will be monsters as you explore the world that you can fight. Okay, gameplay um, you'll spawn in, you'll get a basic pickaxe to start um, getting new materials to break blocks, and the blocks will occasionally give you minerals. Seen here in my beautiful programmer art. Um, and these minerals will let you upgrade weapons and fight stronger monsters. The end goal is up in the air. I figured um, if I get a team, we'll decide upon it then. Okay, higher abilities. So the weapons, um, there's some more programmer art I did of them. All of them are unique. Um, they each have two attacks, a basic attack, which is just, you know, a swing, and then a special attack, which is different for each weapon, such as like maybe an extending sword that will hit people over long distances, or maybe something with like an elemental attack, something like that. And then you'll also have the ability to unlock spells, such as this beautiful fireball, which you can cast at enemies. Um, so there is, um, I've actually been working on this game for a couple months um, and decided to pitch it to really get it to the next level. So currently there is like some basic functions, block breaking, inventory, um, some a bit buggy monsters to be honest, and then um, some basic weapons. Um, these are just ideas that I've had in the back of my mind, but are not like cemented in the game yet. Such as a mini map, which is definitely not stolen from any Minecraft mod. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, the vibe of the game, um, the art style. I was thinking like colorful, flashy combat, because um, I. I don't want combat to be one of the main focuses of the game. And with weapons like these, which are off Google, you know, those aren't the final weapons, those are just examples. But with weapons like those, I feel it'll attract players and like make the combat more fun. And then also a cave aesthetic, like the walls as you explore. Oh, and then um, music, like a continuous medieval type, if anyone does music. Um, the scope, so the minimum viable, I feel I um, at least want a couple biomes so that there will be some differences in generation. Um, I feel the core mechanics need to be worked out, such as um, the fighting, the block breaking, and the weapon, um, acquiring weapons. Um, the most difficult things are marked on red, those are the things I feel will be the most difficult to do throughout the game. The save system, um, that, that's a lot of work from what I've done on it so far, but it, it takes a lot. Oh, inventory system is also kind of difficult and enemies like AI is just annoying in top-down 2D. They have AI built into Unity for 3D, but not 2D, so yeah. Oh, and then stretch goals, just everything minimum, but like twice as much. <laughs> Just more. Uh, tools. We are, I am working in Unity or Unity 2020 to be exact. And I'm using the new Unity input system. And um, for sharing, I'm using 
it's how to get tracking. Um, I feel is just a cool way to visualize files. And then um, in this club in the past, we've used a lot of Trello, but for this project, I'm using um, this thing called Millinote, which allows you to have like a board and then like, boards within the boards, if that makes sense. So I feel there's a lot, you can do a lot more detailed projects and stuff through Millinote and aren't like, it won't be as ugly as making a ton of notes on Trello. And then Google Docs for like design docs and stuff. Um, I'm looking for like one to two programmers, one to two artists, and then um, I wasn't really expecting someone for music, but it would be amazing if someone could do music. Um, yeah, I am kind of, I'm not great at art, so um, I won't really be doing art, but I'll be focusing on programming and design elements of the game. And also everyone who joins will also have a hand in um, design for the game as well. And yeah, that's the end of my presentation. <laughs>